Hello everyone, it is Lori and I am here to do your you and them reading. This reading is all about you and whoever is on your mind. Now, there could be somebody romantic, family, friends, co-worker, whatever it is, that's up to you to decide. I personally will be focusing on a romantic relationship unless spirit tells me otherwise. I'm going to roll this zodiac die to see what signs you may be dealing with. Libra, you have shown up front and center. Whoop, whoop. You have Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio energies there. Okay. I am going to use this deck on this side to represent your energies in this relationship. I'm going to use this deck over here to represent your person's energies. And I'm going to use this deck in the middle to uh, represent the combined energies between you and your person. All right, we're also going to focus on the past, present, and future energies, and we will get some oracle messages at the end of the reading. Now, we are going to start by clearing out the energy in the room, starting fresh. I'm going to ring my large chimes. They're very loud, so please protect your ears. Three, two, one. All right, let's invite in some fun energy here too with the smaller chimes. Okay, well I hope everyone's happy, healthy, and having some fun. So we are going to go ahead and get started here with your past energies concerning this relationship. The recent past, no further than a month back, please spirit. your current energies towards this relationship. Oh good, we've got a little bit of wiggle room here. And your recent past energies towards this relationship. No further than a month into the future, please, spirit. All right, let's put this over here where I don't grab it again. Let us see what your person's energy was or yeah was in the recent past towards this relationship all right so no further than a month back for our viewers persons energies towards this relationship thank you their current energies towards this relationship and their near future energies towards this relationship no further than a month into the future please spirit all right, and now let us get, and I do feel like I'm a little bit off center here. All right, we'll fix everything up as we go. What is the combined energy between our two people, the viewer and the person on their mind, their recent past energy? I'm going to look just to make sure. I cannot believe that card. Oh, my goodness. That card showed up on your person's side like... 10 times during the pre-shuffle. All right. We're actually going to put it back and see if it shows up again. I'm going to be... <laughs> Spirits, your person's definitely got something on their mind. All right. Let's go ahead and see what your person's energy was in the recent past. The combined energy between you and your person. How was it when you two spoke, when you came together? What was the combined energy? Okay. This is how you feel towards the situation. This is how they feel towards the situation. This is your combined energy. All right. Uh, current energies. Recent or <laughs> near future energies. Um, combined energies here between you and your person. No further than a month into the future, please, spirit. All right, I always start on this side. Now, as we get going along, if you feel that this side is more you and this side is more your person on your mind, please feel free to reverse the roles. This is a general reading. I'm picking up a lot of different energies here, okay? So take it as it resonates. Now, if you get this as you and this as you and this over here is you, then take that too. Take it how it resonates, but do not take on somebody else's story. Your life, I'm sure, is difficult enough without 
bringing in somebody else's issues. All right, so your recent past feelings towards this relationship. Okay, you've got the Seven of Swords, which is here about strategy. You've got the King of Wands, which also is about strategy and planning. And then Six of Wands, success. So in the recent past, you may have been keeping something to yourself or trying to figure out a way to have a conversation that would end up leading to success in this relationship. You had to take control of the situation, I'm hearing. Like, you definitely wanted control of this, and you were determined to um, be successful, make this happen, whatever this is. It has to do with this relationship, okay? So maybe it's just making this particular relationship an actual thing, okay? Maybe you weren't actually dating before this or whatever it is, okay? Let's go ahead and see what your person's, oh, making a mess here, recent past energy towards this relationship is, was. Ooh, they've got the Ace of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Tower. This is Six of Wands energy here. So what I'm hearing is some sort of um, inspiration, divine inspiration, some sort of you need to get up and do something. You need to, you better take action on something if you want to be successful. Otherwise, you're going to have your socks knocked off. Okay. Is how this is coming out towards your per, you know, your person's energy. Like they're feeling that divine inspiration, telling them, get up off my butt, get up off my butt and do something here. Your person's working. You need to be working. You need to be doing something or you're going to be shocked. Let's see what the recent energy on your side was. The King of Pentacles, you were working towards stability. And I do feel like you feel like you achieved that stability. Your person, Three of Cups, celebrations, connections. And between the two of you, the Queen of Pentacles. I love this. Look, you've got the Queen and the King facing each other and celebrations, joy and happiness. So whatever you were trying to accomplish here in the recent past, you definitely did it, okay? And your person obviously got themselves up, got off their seat, did the work that they needed to do to help make this a successful relationship. All right, the King of Pentacles speaks about stability, security, enjoying the finer things of life, okay? And you definitely have brought this situation to that point. Now, the Three of Cups, getting along, having something to celebrate. So there may be an announcement here or may have been in the recent past, some sort of announcement of elevating the relationship from not dating to dating, from dating to moving in, from dating to getting engaged, from being engaged to getting married, okay? So it could be any type of elevation in the relationship, I am hearing some sort of commitment, celebration, just, you know, just happiness, like friends getting together, life is good, everything feels right. The Queen of Pentacles speaks of being generous, equally generous, okay? So this, her being in the middle speaks of balance in the relationship, stable balance. Um, finer things in life again, abundance with the rabbit here. Growth, expansion, self-worth. Both people feel valued. Beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and move on and see what your current energies are towards this relationship. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Emperor and the Two of Cups. For you, I'm seeing that you feel like there's a lot of opportunity for growth here. A lot of opportunity to um, be happy together. I'm getting a lot of fire energy over here. So either you are a fire sign, you have a lot of fire in your chart, or your person, if this happens to be resonate, resonating more as your person, um, in your birth chart, Aries, Leo, Sag, especially Aries. I mean, it's just coming through really strong right now. Um, but there's a lot of opportunity to... Um, for a happy home, happy life, a happy kingdom, okay? Equality, though. 
balance. It's not just one person controlling, ruling, or doing anything else. It's a balanced relationship. Healing, harmonious. At least on your side, that's what you're feeling in the current energies. And I do see you taking advantage of some sort of opportunities here. Your person on their side in the current energies, Knight of Pentacles, the Hero font, and the Judgment. I'm getting that it took quite a while, but they finally got their divorce, or they were able to separate from something, someone. I did get a contract, such as a business contract, that they were finally able to break free from. But this is definitely the end of a situation. It was um, some sort of legal matter that they were dealing with or are currently dealing with. It's going to end with the judgment here in your current energy. So within the next month, at least, they should be have this paperwork, this, this contract, whatever it is, um, done and over with. Now this could be you too, making a commitment to each other. Okay, so take it however it resonates. If your person was married or if you were married and you were going through a divorce, it's going to be final very soon. Otherwise, this could be like a, um, a commitment, a desire, a desire to make a formal. This is a formal commitment. This could be a prenup. Taking things slow. Yeah, I mean, it does. I know. I don't think people talk about prenuptial agreements anymore. That's kind of what this feels like um, that you may be entering into with your person here, okay? It looks like you may be, it looks like there's a lot of money involved in at least some of these relationships that I'm talking to out there. Some of you have wealth on both sides. Some of you have a little bit more on your side. Um, and that's why there is a need for agreements, contracts. Um, and it's not, it has nothing to do with love, okay? And anybody who's smart understands the need that, yes, when, what, when you're together, you share like with like, okay? You're going to be balanced, fair, and whole. However, you have to protect assets from other people, not necessarily the person that you're involved with. All right, so let's see what the current energy is between you, okay? You are, are setting boundaries, okay? See, I feel like on your side, there may be some wealth or a need for independence. You know, like you don't want to be controlled. You don't want to be told what to do. You don't want in-laws coming in and saying, you know, giving their advice where it's not welcomed. This is boundaries, Okay, let's see what's going on with your person. Nine of Pentacles. See, they just got free of something. I, I feel more that they just got a divorce, okay? Um, that they broke a contract, a business contract. It's over. It's done with. I don't mean that they broke it. It could have been. Spirit said it, so it could have been. Um, but that they decided to end the contract or somebody else decided to end it. But either way, your person is now free, okay? And here, look at this, two of cups and two of cups right in the same row. Two of cups, it's about two people being in alignment, seeing each other's worth here, okay? Healthy relationships. There's some healing in here too. So this is beautiful. This is an, a very, very nice reading here. All right, let's go ahead and see what your near future energy is towards this relationship. I can't believe this card came out on your side this is the one that showed up like 10, 11 times. The Nine of Swords. But we have the Ace of Swords, which makes that Ten Swords. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so in the near future, I'm hearing that you are going to receive some sort of information. Or, oh, you know what? I'm hearing you're about to reveal. You've got the information. Okay? And you will be able to... Um, Overcome some sort of fear for yourself as far as this relationship goes. Whatever final thing it is, like that prenup, and it does not have to be a prenup agreement. It can be any type of situation where you need to make sure you're looking after the details before you commit to it, okay? You, you know exactly what it is you're getting into. 
um, what it's going to involve, what the outcome is going to be. So again, I feel like there's a lot of money on one side or the other. Oh, especially if this person is just going through a divorce. Okay. That could be where this, all this detail, all these little, like, how is it going to work things going to go? Okay. But I do see the truth comes out and alleviates Puts, completes the process of some sort of fear. Now, I was surprised to see this come out on your side because it kept coming out over here. So it may be for some of you, this is your person here. Now, keep in mind, this is the near future energy. Let's see what your person's got. Some sort of regrets, okay? But it looks like they're going to communicate what they expect from the future, what they want. So there may be a bit of a something going on here. There's, there's a little bit of something going on here, a fear, okay? Maybe you two are able to discuss this and alleviate it and work on the future here. It has to, there is an element of um, worth, of value, of money, But you seek the truth or you speak the truth. I, I can't. It's going to be different for each of you. But this ends up with ten, one, or 10 swords, which tells me the process is completed. Okay? So whatever this is, it's going to be completed within a month's time in the future. Okay? It's like it's not going to keep going on and on. Let's see what you've got. Is combined... In, um, energy between you and your person look at this the knight of cup or knight knight of pentacles knight of pentacles two of cups two of cups queen of pentacles queen of pentacles you've got a lot of repeating cards already you have double sevens here just so you know and that is about good things coming your way all right let's see what your person has here is the near future oh my gosh they got the lovers card okay so again healthy choices they're moving past the regrets. They're talking about what they want from their future, okay? So they're making healthy choices. They are being divinely protected and guided. You can feel this. You can sense it with your person. You're ready to take your time. I feel that they may be a little hesitant, okay, to move forward very quickly because of this situation they're just getting out of. So if you're hoping for marriage right away, that may not be, okay? I don't see too many people going from one marriage and jumping right into another if there was a divorce. All right, the combined energy between the two of you. Do you want to see this? Nah. You don't want to know what this card is, do you? No. I can guarantee you, I've already peeked. You probably, well, maybe, okay. <laughs> you do want to know. The magician, this is going to all work out beautifully. Okay, it's going to feel very magical. Everything's going to work out. Whatever difficulties there are, you two know how to work together. You know how to overcome difficult tasks. You know how to overcome regrets by speaking and communicating clearly. So good communication is going to be crucial in this particular relationship. So I absolutely love this reading for you. Please go ahead, tickle, tap, boop, or zap that like button for me. Claim this in the comments. Oh, by the way, did the like button light up for you? Um, yeah, if it did, drop that in the comments. And what color? Okay, multicolored or one solid color? Also, this is beautiful. I'm wishing this on whoever, okay? If you're hoping this is your message, I'm wishing it's, it is for you because you do work things through. Let's get you some oracle messages. We're going to roll the letter die at the end too. I forgot to mention that. All right, so we're going to start with a Whispers of Love Oracle message here. Yes, and I do want to say, if you are new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you find something that resonates and you come back in the future. If you're one of my awesome returning viewers, you know I love you to pieces. You guys are the best. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have here. Act as if your partner is here already. So if you are hoping for a relationship to work out, 
And that is what I'm feeling, okay? It says, whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so that you will always have that in your mind. Like, have them with you, whether it's somebody new or somebody that you are longing for. All right, so it's how you feel. It's all about your emotions, keeping your gratitude, your happiness alive. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. So see, I do feel that there was some sort of situation to overcome here. And that's why you took the lead to make sure that this relationship was going to be a success. All right, let's see what we have here. This is card 37, which is a 10, and that is 7, which would, if you add those together is an 8. Let's see what angel number 8 has here for you. This says abundance. The energy is limitless. There are forces always flowing and moving through and around you. The ones that you pay attention to and open up to will envelop you in their flow. When you see this number, number eight, meditate on what in your life might require some development and abundance. You can picture energy coming forth to nurture growth in these areas. This is talking about acting as if your person is there, as if everything will work out. Because if you go in with a positive energy, you will come out with a much more positive um, outcome. Beautiful energy message there. Okay. Let us go on to the angel answer oracle messages here. Okay, so if you would like to ask the angel oracles a question, okay, um, four is what I usually get for cards from them, and you don't have any questions for them, please feel free to stop the video. Come back when you've got your questions formulated. All right, let's go ahead and see what the angel answers are for you today. If you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and email me. That information is below every video. Or if you go to my channel, um, it's on my About tab. Okay? Ask your angels. And I'm hearing, ask your angels for guidance. Ask them for the answers that you're seeking. Okay? Ask them for the support that you're hoping for or that you feel you need. Whoops. Let's see if I can do that better. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I'm trying to make a little room here. All right. So ask your angels for guidance. Can I go out any further? Nope. That's it. That's all she wrote. That's all she's got. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we have here. Answer number two from the angel. Answer oracle messages. In the near future. Yes, I do feel like whatever's coming to you guys, it will be resolved in the very near future. All right. But if you're asking a specific question, that is an answer just for you. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what else we've got here. Get more information. I'm hearing um, when you ask for more info, it's like a puzzle piece being put in and everything's taken care of. Every All the answers are there after that one last piece. Okay, so a piece of the puzzle was missing. All right. Within the next few weeks for some of you. All right. Beautiful message there. Let's go ahead and get some messages from the romance angels. I am not hearing anything at all within the next few weeks. So that was a very specific question. And it, I mean, it could be different for each of you. But if it resonates with you, it's your answer. All right, let's see what the romance angels want to say about this relationship. Healing from family issues. Okay. Letting go of the past is what I'm hearing. Healing any hurts, pains from the past. Letting things go. Not bringing the baggage in. 
okay? But I'm also hearing um, maybe you stopped speaking to a family member and it might be a really good time to do so again because you actually don't know why you stopped speaking and they may have some really good information for you. That may be where you get the answer from. Now, we have deception here. Somebody is not telling the truth about something. I do not feel like it's your person. It could be you. I do feel there's some of you that may be holding back some information here. Um, I don't feel you've got the intention of lying. I think it's more like you don't want somebody to know something. And maybe that's what's coming through here with this fear. The Nine of Swords. All right, it's time to get away, disconnect from the world, um, meditate, alleviate stress, worries, fears, shame. Get away from all those things. Yeah, don't let other people gossip get to you, okay? If people are gossiping about anything, don't let it get to you. All right, finances and career. Somebody may be extra busy at work right now. You may need to focus a little bit on work. I'm hearing that this could be an issue here, that this person's finances are a little bit out of whack because of the divorce. Of course, this could also have to do with a prenup that we were talking about or any other type of contracts where the details have to be paid attention to. So there is some sort of financial issue occurring here. What else have we got, Spirit? What else do you have for our viewers here today? There is chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction between you and this other person. But I'm also hearing there's a strong, like, money. I just keep hearing money, money, money. Like, it's big. Some of you are very well off. Some of you have inherent, inherent inheritances, things like that, trust funds. All right. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday, holiday time together. So just spend time being happy together in the here and the now, not worrying about money, not worrying about the future, not stressing over the past. Just be in the here and the now. All right. Let us go ahead and get you We're going to get you some uh gilded the Lenormand cards here and the gilded or the Gilded Reverie and the Kipper. All right, so let's see what Spirit wants to say using the Gilded Lenormand. This came right out. Tick tock. See, details. Something, there could be gossip here, but there's something about needing to pay attention to the details. Things are going to start moving very, very quickly. That's a 37. Something is about to come to an end. You got double 37. Unfortunately, my book only goes to 9.99. Six oh seven just came to my brain. So let's go ahead and see what six oh seven has for you. Six oh seven says mishaps do not let little mistakes or missteps stop you. The little things uh will the little things may sting. But your angels want you to stop um, yourself from hurting over these things, okay? Don't keep yourself held back just because of it. They urge you to move past the inevitable feeling of discomfort that you might be experiencing as you move forward towards your goal, okay? So don't let little things get in the way, but pay attention to the details. There's a difference in those two things okay if you feel like you've messed up or you have a fear or you have a shame do not let those things hold you back from communicating with your person be clear be concise okay the more forthright you are and authentic you are with anybody it does not matter who the clearer the future is okay everybody knows exactly where they stand didn't we have the seven of wands right here in the current energies we have, I've got the deck upside down. Okay, we have card number three. 
and we have distant horizons, easy sailing, okay? Completing, we have another, we have 10 of swords here. So something, you're completing it, you're closing it out. But this is about sailing on into over easier times. You're overcoming the mountains, you're breezing. The future is easier than the current energies. Okay. So you're overcoming obstacles, challenges. You're headed for beautiful places, okay? This Nine of Swords, you've got the Ten of Swords here to complete it, close it out. It's no longer an issue. All right, let's see what else do we have here using the Gilded Lenor Reverie Lenormand. Card 26. Ten of Pentacles here, okay? So I'm hearing it is already written in the books. It's already written. The contract is there. The agreement is there. It's under lock and key. You're happy. You're secure. Everything's going well. 26 is an eight. Again, eights are about yourself, but it's about balance too. There's knowledge here. There's a lot of knowledge in that card. A lot of understanding. Let's see what else just came out here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you're overcoming any storms, and it does have to do with your home or your person's past home life. All right, but it has to do with the home. Look at this, six and four, another 10, completing some sort of cycle, coming out of the storm. That's what this is right here, after the storm. All right, let's go ahead and see. You might be receiving a message pretty soon um, that's going to bring in really good news. Now, this message could come to you in any form. It could be a person showing up at your house, unexpected visitor. Um, it could also be a text message, uh, a snail mail, snail mail letter, phone call. I did just hear that this might be something that has been going round and round and over and over and you've never been able to get it taken care of. You're about to hear about the end of it. Now, see, it could be this person. It could be your person, that judgment coming in there. And there's the details card. There's the commitment, okay? Yes, somebody has your heart or you have their heart. All right, so that's a beautiful message. Let's go ahead and see what else we have here. Let's use the uh, Kipper deck to see what else Spirit wants to tell you about this relationship. Now, the ring can also represent just a commitment, okay? It doesn't have to be marriage. It can be any type of commitment. So keep that in mind if it's resonating or if you're uncertain if it's for a message for you or not. All right, let's see what Spirit has here using the... Kipper deck. Privileged lady. See, somebody here has got some money. I don't care if you're male or female. It is about somebody here having the finer things in life, having money. I am getting southern gentility. Um, oh, yeah, this feels like old money. It feels like inheritances, trust funds, things that... Uh, are from old wealth, okay? This is not, and that's why this person would be privileged, okay? Because they, they were born into it. That's a 12, okay? And 12 adds up to three. Three, unity, mind, body, spirit. So this person is balanced. This could be you, this could be them. See what else we've got here <laughs> we've got a main female okay so we go from two to three here um yeah this is your energy whether you're male or female it is you are the main character you are holding the rose okay i think this is all on your terms here for the most part like you're the only one with roses in this whole thing here 
okay, other than her. And you've got the roses here with the Queen of Pentacles in the background. So it's not like you're flaunting anything or doing anything like that. But I do feel like you are the one that has the upper hand here. If you want to put it that way, maybe you're the one that has to protect your your wealth, your life, your commitment, your happiness. But I don't think you're too worried about it with this person. Um, it's a, a formality, okay? And it's not so much about this person that you're even doing this, if it's a prenup or a contract to be signed. It's about their person, okay? Their ex-person, the people around your person. That's That's why this is being done or even considered, or whatever, or what you're looking into. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we have here. Despair. 32, which is a 5, which is funny, because I think that's really what this is about. I feel like this person may have gotten taken by their person, but I also want to point out here that we have 1, 2, 3, okay, 3, 4, 5, six, seven. I mean, it, you are going in the right direction here, but it's like a dance, okay? So there's movement forward, then there may be a pause, and then there may be a step to the side. I, I'm not hearing compromise, but more concession, which came up in yesterday's readings, I believe. Community was on the bottom of the deck. Let's see if there's anything else that's going to come out here. Spirit, do you have anything else you would like to share with our viewers? Using the Kipper deck. Two more shuffles, please. Yeah, see, adjudication, that's what the despair, and look, that's a three. <laughs> All right, okay, so this is definitely about the situation here okay and there are legal matters here there are definitely some sort of legal matters somebody may have taken something or it is a concern all right see somebody in the past may have taken money yeah i mean with the thief the lovers the courthouse concern yeah see the mature man that goes with a mature woman over there the courtship yeah there's somebody here look at that there is somebody here that's got some Definite uh, wealth, okay? I don't know how else to put it. I mean, it could be something else other than financial wealth. It could be other things. But it definitely needs to be protected, okay? All right, let us go ahead and get you... Uh, let's see what else Spirit wants to give you. Anything, Spirit, over here? A spirit animal message. I want to take a second to say thank you to each and every one of you for all the love and support that you guys show me. You guys are awesome, and I do deeply appreciate all of it, okay? Elephant greatness. Love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone that you meet. You can overcome any difficulty and you will naturally and easily achieve success right behind the leadership. You get the success card and it says it right there. I absolutely love that for you. Elephants don't forget either. Um, just it, 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 they can't let go. Okay. It's not that they want to purposely remember anybody or anything that hurt them. They just can't forget it and they're not going to because it makes them wiser. Okay, but it also can make them a little bit, uh, I'm hearing dangerous, so be careful. Uh, you, you, whoever whoever has the money, you do have to use caution um, dealing with a person with money. Puffin, partnership, accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. You can ask for help. Also, teamwork will give you the best results. Now, I don't know why I'm hearing about guardian um, protection, angel protection. Oh, over here, your answers. Ask for, ask for, ask your angels and get more information. Okay, 
So that may be on your person side. You have on the bottom of the deck, Swan, Grace, you who glides across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. All right. Let us go ahead and do the... Let's get you three... No, we're going to do the letter die. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. If you happen to be new here, I roll six letter die, 26 uh, letters of the American alphabet here plus some wilds on each card. I give you whatever comes to me, okay? Um, places, names, items. I hear, see, feel, smell, different things. So whatever comes out, comes out. Take it if it resonates. And if you don't want to participate in this, then don't, okay? We have free will, and everybody gets to choose what they participate in or not. All right. Let us see what the first portion is. Villanova, West Virginia, Utah, New Zealand, Sylvester, Caitlin, St. Kitt, Rosemary, Roxanne, and I'm hearing the song, Roxanne, put on your red light. Okay. Um... Willie, Wally, Young, like a name. I just heard Trey and Taya. Taya. Um, Trey sounded like a name. Uh, okay, Hogan. Hobo, Fabio. Delaware, Edward, D.C., Hibachi, Ogden, Oprah, Opal, Hopi, Iron, Fedora, Fagan, Grady, H.G., HB, Ho Ho's, Isaac, Ivan, James, Jesse, Juju, Joni, Ginger, Hawaii, Baltimore. Gak, G-A-C-K, G-A-C, oh, Gak, I'm hearing Gak 800, somebody's an artist. Um, Major League Baseball, Denmark, Donka, Gracie, Backwards, Backwoods, Gigi, Cable, Cabal, Camden, Demi, Lynette, Liza, Libby, Abe, Adele, Cafe, Mabel, Luke, Lucy, Darcy, James, I heard Ribbon, Hong Kong, Vietnam, Oolong, Pequant, Javier, George, Greta, Agent, Agape, 
the who whopper Bobby Becca Rosot Rosoto Rose I don't know Rosetta Samuel Sammy Smeed Glenn Panda Rhode Island Texas Mexico Wilfred Dag Dagwood Adam Amelia Al Dale got a lot of names today Dalton Dave Raven Sovereign Kenny. All right, guys, until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.